welcome to session on mathematics we are in properties of triangles and at session number four now in this session as i told you this is a very important session we'll study about in general the circles connected to a triangle now what are the circles connected to a triangle yes that is circumcircle whose radius we call it as circumradius so we'll derive the formulas for capital r which denotes the circumradius of the triangle similarly we'll also learn about in circle and the corresponding radius of in circle that is also called as in radius which is standard notation is smaller and then there is x circles of a triangle now what are these x circles the circles which touch the three sides of a triangle externally and the corresponding x radii the radius of each of these circles there will be three such circles opposite to each of the vertex of the triangle that is r1 r2 and r3 we will try to derive the formulas for each of the circumradius in radius and the x radii in terms of the sides of a triangle okay in general a triangle which is not necessarily be a right angle triangle let's proceed to study about circumradius now in triangle abc with usual notation the circumradius r is given by r equal to a by 2 sin a which is also equal to that is r is also given by b by 2 sin b and the circumradius r is also given by c by 2 times sin c now as we know for a triangle abc the circle which passes through all the, the three vertices of the triangle this circle is called the circumcircle of the triangle and the radius of this circle which passes through the three vertices of a triangle is called as circumradius. So the circle which passes through all the three vertices of the triangle is called as circumcircle and the radius of this circle is called circumradius. Now if S denotes the center of such circle which is also called as circumcenter then what are the radius that we are talking about? Yes, the distance from any of the vertex to this center that is from A to S or B S or C S. Now these three distances which will be equal because they are the radius of the circle and that radius is denoted by R. Now we need a expression to get the value of capital R, right? Now as we have done in sign rule, let's proceed with a similar kind of construction here also. So on BC, that is without changing the side BC, let's join C S and extend the length C S further. Now if you look at what is this line which is passing through the vertex of the triangle and the circumcenter of the triangle and cutting the circle again at some point say this is a D. Then CD is the diameter of the circle, isn't it? Now CD is the diameter, we'll join point D which is the intersection of this diameter with the circle to the vertex B, right? Now consider triangle B, C, D in which CD is the diameter of the circle. So shall we say the angle here is 90. Yes, that is angle in a semicircle. Therefore, shall we say angle DBC is a right angle. That means this triangle is a right angle triangle. Now again look at the diagram. BC is a chord of the circle. A and D are two points on the same side of the chord, right? On the circle lying on the same side of the chord. Then the angle at this place must be same as the angle at this place. Then if this angle is treated as the interior angle of the triangle that is A, then this angle also must be A, right? So what did we observe? In the same triangle BCD, angle BDC should be same as angle BAC of the original triangle ABC. Therefore, this should be angle A, which is the interior angle at the vertex A. Now, in this triangle BCD, which is a right angle triangle, can we define all the six trigonometric ratios because the triangle is right angle? We have all the ratios. Now, what is sin A in this right angle triangle BCD? Yes, this being a right angle triangle, one of the angle is A, then opposite side that is BC by the hypotenuse of the triangle that is CD, right? We know both the values. BC is the side which is opposite to the vertex A, therefore that is small a by CD is the circum diameter of the circle if r is the radius then diameter should be 2r right then what is 2r value from here a by sin a 
So can you tell me how much is R that is circumradius of the triangle? A by 2 times sin A. This gives the expression for the circumradius of the triangle when we know the side and the angle, right? Now if we have constructed the triangle BCD instead of on the side BC, constructing a triangle on AC as a chord, right? That means AC is maintained as a chord and a right angle is constructed by joining AS and extending it. By similar construction that we followed, the value of R will also be obtained as B by 2 times sin B. And if the similar construction is made on AB as a chord and then joining BS and extending, the same circumradius would also be C by 2 times sin C. Right? A similar derivation follows from here. And we have done this derivation at the time of sin rule. We just repeated that in case of one of the results so that we can extend it to the other two results. So have we got an expression for circumradius of the triangle? What is circumradius formula? It is either A by 2 sin A or B by 2 sin B or C by 2 sin C, right? Now in any triangle ABC with usual notation, the circumradius R is also given by ABC by 4 delta. Now this is another alternate relation to get the circumradius. When we know all the three sides, that is A, S, B and C are known to us, then we can simply calculate delta value, right? It is by heroine's formula, it is square root of S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C. So this side is completely dependent on the sides of the triangle. So when we know the sides of the triangle, how to get the circumradius? It is given by A, B, C by 4 delta. Let's see the derivation of this. Just now we have derived the value of R is given by A by 2 times sin A, right? Now, do you remember what is the formula for area of a triangle? Immediately after sin rule we have derived, it is half times BC times sin A. So, can we express sin A in terms of delta? Yes, here the value of sin A would be 2 delta by BC. Now we have sin A value in terms of delta and the sides. So what happens if we replace sin A by the area of the triangle formula? It is A by 2 times 2 delta by BC, which on simplification would give us ABC by 4 delta. So what is circumradius from this case? It is product of all the three sides, ABC by 4 delta, right? There is another result which gives the circumradius of the triangle expressed in terms of the area of the triangle and the three sides of the triangle, right?